so now it's time to make a sawtill. And I'm just going about this by the seat of my pants. I'm just making it up as I go along. I haven't seen any videos I look for making this till online on YouTube in any of the tool builds. They just like um, either just set the till down in there and show you the saws in it when they completed the toolbox or they had had to build a bigger toolbox because they had had more tools and they just took the kill that was already in their toolbox, the old toolbox, and transferred it over. So we don't, we don't have any kind of instruction all I can do is go by what they look like and see if that, see if I can rig something up basically. So we're gonna see what we can do. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's not critical to just be absolutely square. But I mean, more. So that is six and six. Let's go. Where's my pencil? Let's go three. Boom. Boom. Something here in the center. Just for grins.
be, they won't be three inches tall. When I get done with them, I'll have to make them. Well, I'm not sure I will need more than one of them, actually. We'll see. Once again, doing this by the seat of my pants. Looks like we might get rain. It's not supposed to rain, but it's been raining like a seal for like two blooming weeks almost. Not that I'm complaining. We had one heck of a drought. So, not going to complain about rain. Going to praise God for rain. That's how that's going to work. Dimensions. How often am I? Three inches. Three inches. Not much, if any. So we're gonna pretty that up a bit. There we go. That's what I want. Not quite square on this end. Close. We are close. Eleven. 
No. Two and eleven sixteens. So let's see. One more, one or two more passage. What's that looking like square wise? Okay. And the height's not critical. Uh, I'm just wanting it to be even or as close to even as possible. And Twenty-one and fifteen sixteenths. Which one is square? There it is. And that is it. Don't make no no difference. Where's my tape? Let's go straight with 22, just in case that boy makes a mistake and I need to square it off. Yeah, I can tell that's out a bit from square. It's okay though. Close. 
little bit of a blowout won't hurt nothing because uh, it just won't. Won't hurt a thing. can't really see but So four and a half inches. I don't know if you can see everything that I'm doing, but I really don't have a whole lot that I can do about it right now because uh, I just got to get this done and you'll see the results of it. In a minute.
It ain't the most beautiful. But it's a holder for a tool. It doesn't got a bumblebee or something flying around me. As long as he don't sting me, I won't sting him. You say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, as long as he doesn't sting me, he gets to live. The minute that he stings me, he will die. That's how that works. Now, but they come around here a lot, and I've never had any issue with them whatsoever. They've never, I've never been stung by one of them ever. So, and I don't expect that's going to happen this time either. They're not trying to harm anybody, they're just trying to find something to eat or procreate or place to make a nest or something like that. They're just doing what bees do. They're not hurting me. Matter of fact, for me, they're pretty cool. Did now I need to offer the saw blade that I cut these with to the cur cut and see if I've got any kind of yeah no. No screws, nothing like that. And what I would do And the cross cut will go actually let's try it again. I set it up for a left hander. So this actually goes here because I'm a left hand. Surprise! This goes like this. Yeah, okay. Duh. And then the dovetail saw like that. That is the way they go. Now, what I might do, the hand planes, I'm going to go in here something like this. Um, the number four over there. Then, I guess my uh, chisel roll along in here somewhere. I'd like to get this in. I might be able to get it. Well, almost, but not quite. 
it's all right. I don't have to have a straight edge in here, and I would have loved to have gotten it there. But that's the beginning of it. How tall is the tallest saw that I have? That's seven. Seven and a half. So if I come up here eight inches, no, seven and three quarters. Let's just give it three quarters of an inch. And run rails that way. Let's see. But, I mean, this is not quite tall enough, but I'll put rails along here that will clear this, and then I'll put one or two sliding tills here. Um, assuming I have room, I want to do two, but it'll be what it'll be. Uh, but thanks for coming along. And that is the saw till. I will most likely either glue it I mean, it's not really going anywhere, but probably glue it or screw it from underneath the, uh, the bottom of the chest so that it does not move from there. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.